You're listening to the Attack of the Killer Podcast, the Evil Hell Show Podcast, on Mother 2.1, The Edge. Well, before we get there, we have the election Thursday. Where we go to the polls and hopefully you pick uh, someone other than Dalton McGinty. And I, uh, I mean this. You know who I'm endorsing? Anybody except him. How's that? So the two other main parties. What All about the them. Green Party? Yep. Endorse him yeah. too. Yep. <laughs> I endorse anybody but that tit. Why is that, Dean? Let me play for you why. Two reasons. He has the personality of a newt. He's not interesting. He doesn't care about people, in my opinion. And if, if, you, and if you're wondering, kids, if you're sitting there going, oh, it's a political conversation. I want you guys to talk about boobs and farts and bukkake videos. Oh, we will. Don't worry. But I'll try and make this as much fun as a bukkake video. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. Um, a few years ago, after McGinty got into power, he uh, was doing a campaign stop. And he stopped at uh, a hospital in Ottawa. And I don't have to tell. I want you to listen carefully to how compassionate Dalton McGinty is. And this, this is, is his own turf too. This is this where is he's Ottawa. the MPP. Yeah. yeah, this is this is the hospital that that he is in his writing. This is this is a guy who had terminal cancer that approached him. Uh, it's a news story, so I'll let the news dude do the news part of the story, and then you'll hear some awesome audio of why the two reasons I don't like Dalton McGinty. One is he's inhuman. Have a listen. At an Ottawa hospital yesterday, McGinty was snubbed by a terminal cancer patient because OHIP won't pay for life-extending U.S. cancer drugs. Mike Brady refused to play the political game. How are you, sir? I'm about to knock you down there. I've got cancer and you're not helping any. No, that's not true. That's not true. And he mm. takes his hand away from the guy, who I believe is now dead. Did he die? I think so. Took his hand away from the guy after he said, I got cancer and you're not helping any. And just starts walking with his stupid smile on his face like, uh-huh, no, no big deal. You don't matter anyway. You'll be dead soon. You get <laughs> well, I guess he was caught off guard, right? Because he probably went care. to do that. No, Dude, no, no, he's, I he's, know. A leader of the, he's a leader of the province, you're, I, unfortunately. I'm, my point was your first question should, should be, well, what haven't we done and how can we help? Yeah, or just stop yeah. and listen and let the guy talk. Yeah. Or something. I'm, not, I, I'm not a civil servant at all, but we were at Sausage Fest and some chick got punched and I sat and talked to her and security and her boyfriend for 20 minutes because she was put out. She was put... This guy's got terminal cancer and Dalton McGinty not helping him and that's what this guy says. I want you to listen to it again. Listen to how much of a smug dick this guy is. How are you, sir? I'm about to knock you down there. I've got cancer and you're not helping any. Uh, that's not true. That's not true. Now, he says it's not true. Here's, here's the technical problem I have with that. He doesn't know the guy. He doesn't know the kind of cancer the guy has. He doesn't know what the guy's issues are. However, he's still right. That's not true. He doesn't even know him. Doesn't even know what's happened. That's not true. Well, really, tell me why it's not true. That's what the guy should have said. Tell me why it's not true. He didn't. McGinty doesn't care about people. He, then, then he gets out to, here, here's, here's another one. So that was the first one, right? Keep in mind, he doesn't care about people. He's inhuman. Um, and he's a machine. He's like a political robot. That's all he cares about. More like a political rapper. Yeah, yeah. Last debate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not true, not true. Not true. <laughs> How are you, sir? I'm about to knock you down there. I've got cancer and you're not helping any. Uh, that's not true. That's not true. You want to put this dick back in office? After all the broken promises, listen to this TV commercial that he did. He did a TV commercial basically talking about how he had to raise taxes. And it was real tough. It was real hard. So hard to raise your taxes and take your money when I promised you. I wrote on a piece of paper. I promised you I wouldn't. Have a listen to this. this At the time of the last election, I told Ontarians that I wouldn't raise their taxes. And I broke that promise. And I did raise their taxes. I hated making that decision. You did it about five times. So he, did you hate making that decision every time? <laughs> you know, that's like when a guy who gets caught for armed robbery after the fifth one said, I didn't really want to do it. I was only doing it because I was with these group of guys. But he was with a different group of guys every time. <laughs> yeah. That's what that was. That's him passing the buck. I didn't want to raise taxes. I did raise their taxes. Yeah, you did. I hated making that decision. Oh, it's hard. But I got there and uh, discovered that there was no money. Speaking of which, by the way, not only do we not have no money, we had a six billion dollar deficit when he got there. Kids, this is this is good information, so be be aware of this. Six billion dollar deficit when Dickhead McGee got into into office. 
we now have a $214 billion deficit. So please don't tell me that raising taxes improved our situation to begin with. You lying meathead. He sounds like Steve Carell from The Office. He sounds like Michael. He looks like him, too. Yeah. He's probably almost as competent. Uh, we desperately oh. needed to make new investments in health care in particular. Wait times have never been longer, mm. by the way, just to, just, just to let you know. And I had a really uh, tough call to make. Yeah, must have been. Five times you made that tough call. Got the eco tax, you got the health tax, the you got the HST, yeah, the yeah. you got, dude, you are such a lying piece of garbage. <laughs> and I knew that people were going to be angry about that. I understand that and I, I accept that. I still think it was the right call to make. Really? Because we're in a much worse situation today than we've ever been. Like I did, this is, and, and, and then I, I heard this morning that uh, that the Toronto Star in in another uh, newspaper, uh, I can't remember, maybe it was the Globe <laughs> Mail, I don't care. Um, newspapers are outdated anyway, because um, it's yesterday, right? That's what happened yesterday. This was, is what's happening today. It's not as current as, as no. one would think, <clears throat> or, or radio like it to be. No. Yeah. So, so these guys endorse him again. Did you not hear the two clips I played for you? That is the human being. That is a human being that is in office. That is a flawed human being. And like I said before, I don't care who you vote for. I really don't. It doesn't matter to me. I honestly don't. And I honestly don't know who I'm going to vote for. And that's the truth. I'm not just saying that. I like Tim. I like Andrea. They're both very good people and they've got a vision. Is there a marijuana party this time around? Uh, I don't know, bro. But if there was, I'd, uh, I'd go to all the rallies. <laughs> I don't know if I'd vote for I don't know if I'd show up on time. But Only I'd... if they had free Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's crazy. I cannot believe that dick is still in office. I can't. And I can't believe people still want to put him there. Yeah, a lot of people still like it. It's like I guess. a neck and neck race with the, the conservatives. Here, I'll play this for you one more time. Is that on still? How are you, sir? <laughs> I'm about to knock you down there. Oh, I've got cancer and you're not helping any. Well, that's not true. That's not true. <laughs> I wonder if uh, if Dalton thought that was a plant or something. I don't know. I, he's, I think the guy's dead. You think he, really? Yeah. Mm. Oh man. Anyway, you get a decision to make on on uh, Thursday. Very I true. highly suggest that uh, you do yourself a favor. Just don't vote for that guy, please. For the love of God, I don't care who else you vote for. Go and read each one. If you're a fan your of due the, diligence, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Go, go and uh, look at the platform. Look at what people want. Well, what they want to do is it accomplishable? And and if you genuinely like the person that's running, vote for him. Do you think that person in your riding is going to do a good job, or you think Tim or Andrew are going to do a good job? That's or sometimes part of the problem with the entire system, though. That there's someone in your job, you know, in your riding who might not be representative of the person. Who yeah, they might to be, be premier. That's, yeah. They just that, happen to be a liberal or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I'm, not, I'm nothing. Or yeah, the vote woman, for the person. or the woman. Yeah, vote, yeah. Vote for the human being. Unless it's a chick. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you do, don't vote for a chick. Oh, don't say they're going to take you seriously. <laughs> no, no, of course not. <laughs> uh, oh no, a lot of people would. Uh, yeah. 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 Brodell said, "Don't vote for the broad." <laughs> <laughs> but she's the most qualified. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter. No, nope. she's broad. Once a month, she ain't doing her yeah, job, right? She's only good for about 21 days a month. Yeah, that's right. She's going to take nine days off a month. Make no, a lot of bad decisions. But yeah, yeah. Make a lot of heated decisions. Well, I am mad today, so I'm going to institute a bitch tax. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't. She's actually very impressive. Who? No, I, I'm just saying. Oh, Andrea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm not oh, even no, talking no, about Andrea. I don't know. No, I'm I talking know. about like if a woman in I don't. In, I just yeah, 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 yeah. Wanted to clarify for people. Dude, I think Andrea's, yeah. if you ask me, I like I her. She's one of the most solid. Yeah. Men, woman, doesn't matter. She's one of the most solid uh, human beings and it, with great intentions. Well, that, it's, that, it's an actual, yeah. this time it's not made up. It's an actual person. She's an actual person that really, really wants to do this job. Well, I just like her too for not getting part of that whole smear campaign thing and that's what all you see with the liberal and the pc yeah they're just ripping into one i know another. and they're terrible ads too that the smear ones well you don't know a they do it they screw it up because you don't know who to vote for because they they always put the picture of the opposing guy and if you're yeah. like, listening on mute or you're just in the kitchen or something we're like oh, like i think it's just such a bad form of advertising <laughs> or that? promotion what Dalton having, McGinty says he, he's taxes this that and then if you're just looking in the kitchen having a conversation all you see is Dalton McGinty on the TV so you think it's an ad for the liberal like you're not even yeah. you know, like, you know, oh, they could have yeah. chosen Direct. a better picture than yeah. that but oh yeah good one yeah yeah, yeah you're right <laughs> no, <it's, laughs> 
Anyway, vote for who you want for it. Just don't vote for that guy. The Dean Blundell Show. Oh, ah, mornings on the edge. Time for a listener email. Fellas, been listening since I was 19. 29, married with two kids. I wow. Know. Yeah. Haven't heard from Frankie the weather guy in a while. I'm just wondering if maybe uh, you can update us. Thanks a lot. Ray. Yeah, we can. Yeah, Frankie has just released a new video. What great timing for this email team. Yep. Uh, on his Facebook page, you can see uh, Frankie playing Castlevania in real life. Is Castlevania a video game? It yeah, is. it's what, been it, a game forever. Get like on the mic, me. Get on the mic. Okay, here. I Put remember it. Castlevania from like Nintendo days, way in the day when it was just like, like with swords and all this stuff. Well, if but, we want to ask a, a question, yeah. if we want to direct a question to an eleven-year-old, yes. If we need an eleven-year-old type answer uh, for an eleven-year-old type question, we ask Metis, What is Castlevania? Castlevania is a video game where a guy goes around killing monsters or vampires. Oh, okay, good. And they've updated it, like they've kept it up with all the new systems and stuff. Yeah, they've kept it up. Okay, good. Okay. So now this is him doing real Castlevania video yeah, game. Yeah, well, I mean, real acting with, out a video yeah, game. Yeah, he's 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 like yeah, acting it out. He's in a park. Dean, he's in a park. I'm in a park. I'm sure it looks pretty normal for most people around, but uh, a lot yeah. of the action's going on inside his head. Listen very carefully as he's uh, playing the game and describing to us what he's doing. Okay, guys, <laughs> let's play Super Castlevania in real life. <laughs> in real life. <laughs> I got the chain whip. <laughs> Did he say I got the chain whip? Yeah. Now he's using it and making chain whip noises with his mouth? Yeah. I got a longer chain whip. I got a longer chain whip. <laughs> I got axe. Oh, he's got an axe. <laughs> <laughs> I got a different weapon. I got a different weapon. Her. Kill me. Oh, he's making all these crazy no. moves. Uh oh. Uh oh. I died. <laughs> oh my god. I only got another minute left. <laughs> I only got, oh, it's going to be a long video. <laughs> yeah. How many lives does he get? Well, he said he had nine men left. Nine men left. <laughs> <laughs> he's running backwards. No way. <laughs> oh, he's rewinding the video game. I'm up there. What? Level one in the second area. <laughs> 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 I got the holy water. He's got the holy water. <laughs> I got the curse ring. He's got the curse thing. <laughs> oh my god, all the enemies are destroyed. Oh, oh a boss. Push, 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 I'm fighting the boss. He's fighting the boss. This is a grown man pretending to be a video game. Castlevania. Frankie. Frankie. I got the spear. He's got the spear. I'm on the map. I'm on his way to level two. Oh my God, how many levels are in this video? Oh no. How many levels in this video? Oh, no, it ends well. It ends in another minute. Killing all the skeletons. He's killing all the skeletons. Yeah. <laughs> He's doing all the moves, which is classic. Keep in oh mind. Oh my god, there's the bats. Bats? Oh my god. Keep in mind, this is a 30 odd year old man. I got a longer chain whip. He's got a longer chain whip. Uh oh. Jump for some kind of mud. <laughs> no! It's me, Simon, the character from Castlevania. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, here's more monsters on loose. More monsters, dude. 
I rain face Dracula. Uh oh, dude, he's pretty uh, lackadaisical for uh, video game hero. Dracula's defeated. Yeah. Yeah, the damn. Yeah. All right. Does he say anything here? Oh, no, nope. you shut it off. He was too tired. Hey, everybody, you're listening to the new It's amazing, too, because we just talked about the election. I, I, yeah. I want to read some email here. Yeah. Because, A, I didn't get to all the Michael Jackson email I got over the weekend <laughs> from me calling him a pedophile. <laughs> yeah, you must have made it on some sort of Michael Jackson forum which I can't believe Big people time. still go on <laughs> yeah. over yeah. a year yeah. after his death. You, know, <laughs> you mean the support Michael Jackson for him is, yeah. in, is, is, is uh, full of winners? Is that what yeah. you're saying? <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> He's not coming back. Oh, man, oh, man. <laughs> so some chick, I got uh, mostly emails from middle-aged women uh, and, and some gay dudes. But it was funny because the email that I got from the middle-aged women were like, uh, I had the opportunity to listen to your... That none of them live in the, yeah. in the city. Because if, if you lived in the city and you took an issue with what I said about Michael Jackson, you never listened to this show. Because I didn't even really say anything about Michael Jackson until they pissed me off, right? Because the, the, the trial's going on. Is it still going on? Yeah, dude. Yeah. It's going on for weeks. What's, weeks. what's the latest? They said... Uh, that, no, they're, again, they're just trying to tarnish this doctor's reputation. Then there's other sides saying that he was a good doctor. You know, was, Michael Jackson had a, a, a long history of, of silly, stupid medical things before yeah. this doctor took care of... I don't know why they're trying to hang this guy. Yeah, the defense I, I, is saying I that he had, that Jackson self administered. Yeah, all this man, stuff. he was a drug addict for years. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's seemingly. I mean, his father, the day after it, said he was great. I'm great. Drug is gone. Yeah, they obviously. Ah, yeah, yeah. I'm ah, great. They should, they should ah, get rich, to bitch. Joe. They should put Joe on trial. Oh, yeah, they man. should. What kind of father lets her son do all that? Stuff? Well, they should put him on trial for beating his kid, which made him do the drugs to begin yeah, with. Yeah, exactly. Are you kidding me? He's great. He's great. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Uh, so I started getting an email from these ladies about the Michael Jackson thing, too. So um, one lady emailed me yesterday, and she did the whole, uh, I just can't believe that you didn't, you, uh, you don't, love, I just can't believe, and you don't. So I emailed her back, and I basically told her to eat S. You know what that means, right? Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. No, not stuff. Smelly no. stuff. Yeah, poop. <laughs> stinky. <laughs> eat the stinkies. Um so then she emails me back and, uh, oh yeah, here, here we go. Eat mm -hmm. S. So let me read you the email. Hello, I unfortunately had the unpleasant experience of listening to your uneducated opinion and ignorant comments concerning Mr. Michael Jackson. Now, when someone calls him Mr. <laughs> yeah, Mr. <laughs> Dean, you are a creature of unknown origin. <laughs> you try to get individuals to listen to your show through means of slander. And it's quite sad to think that you want to make money from your obscene, rude comments. Perhaps you need to educate yourself about Mr. Jackson, unless you're illiterate. Slander is unacceptable in our society, especially in public broadcasting. I think you have the catty personality of a woman. Now, that's not nice for a woman to say about women. Jeez, really? Wow. That? That's classic. That's really actually very <laughs> funny. I like that. <laughs> I would also like to point out to you that Mr. Jackson had a medical and psychological issues, if you have failed to mention. Yeah. Yeah, the medical ones where he's a druggie and the psychological ones where he's a pedophile. Those ones? Is that what she's referring to, maybe? I think there's also the, you know, where his nose eventually fell off because yeah. he had so many surgeries Bingo. and his skin changed completely yeah, yeah. different color. And yeah, that's totally hair normal. became straight, all yeah, that that's, stuff. Yeah, that's, all, that's obviously the problem. I, I do hope that one day when you are suffering that you look back and regret what you have said. Nope. Out of all the things you're going to look back on one day. <laughs> yeah. I'll be so proud I called that pig a pedophile. I'll be so proud. Mr. Jackson was destroyed by creatures like yourself. What? Yeah, this is, this is his real email about Michael Jackson. He's dead. Your comments are that of a young school-aged child looking for revenge. You know, if a child wants revenge on Michael Jackson, it's probably one of the ones that he felt up. I don't need revenge on Michael Jackson. I'd like revenge for the perm I got because I used to like Michael Jackson when I was grade <laughs> six. Jerry Curls. Grow up and get educated before you open your trap. And remember, what goes around comes around. You uh -huh. will not always be the idiot you are today, and one day you will need support. You are becoming very unpopular as the days of the trial proceed. Oh. <laughs> awesome, huh? Oh, contraire. Oh, no, this trial better not go on too long. Yeah. We might not have any more listeners left. <laughs> In California. Yeah. yeah. The public knows that Dr. Murray was negligent, and I hope he is your doctor one day. When they, 
I love the hypocritical messages. So I email yeah. her to eat s. Uh, and then I and I said basically, uh, you know, Michael Jackson was a pedophile. You must not like kids. So she huh. says, show me some proof. What's your educational background on this subject? I don't know. 20 years of stories and lawsuits and him paying out hundreds of millions of dollars to the families of children that, that, he, that, he, that he violated, families he destroyed. That's my proof. If you can, I'll, I, I tell you, I can't really get proof, though, Wendy. I can't really get proof because the proof, thank God, is dead. Let's all hear it. The proof is dead. Yep. <laughs> Let's I just am... say if the proof didn't have millions of dollars, there would have been proof. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> a lot of it. I don't know. The One of the kids that he allegedly didn't do anything to uh, had an exact match for Michael Jackson's penis. Like he actually described it to a T. Just letting you know. The idea of and it wasn't he, his kid, yeah. so I highly doubt they were getting changed at Bamp Hot Springs <laughs> together. <laughs> I love too when they say uh, it's people like you created this, created created this Good. mess, this monster. Good. No, no, you don't create this monster. His people, the yeah. same very people who are now throwing uh, the doctor under the bus because they hired him to make sure that he was pain free and just lived his life the way he wanted to yeah. live it. Just oh to, yeah, Mike. Yeah. yeah, the Jackson family. They, yeah. should, they should all be punched out too. That's, he, they all know he, what was going on came, for years. Oh, dude. What, what, he's a perfect saint who's dude, never touched Tito. any medication? Yeah. Ask Tito. He gets it. <laughs> <laughs> Tito always got it, didn't he? I just yeah. wanted to say yeah. Tito. Yeah. I know. He's <laughs> always the guy who made the least amount of money in the yeah, family. Yeah, he yeah. got it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My parents name is Tito. How am I going to be successful? <laughs> Ask Tito. <laughs> Michael, Randy, those are normal names. Tito? <laughs> Even Jermaine's Janet? okay. Yeah. Me and LaToya got the staff. Yeah. yeah. Who, who names a kid LaToya? <laughs> LaToya and Tito? Yeah. You know how much it sucked when you got someone named Michael, Randy, and Janet around? They couldn't just call me Chris. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't call her Michelle. Yeah, come on. <laughs> What's up, bitch? That's why Michael was on drugs. That's right. My dad's even Joe. It's one syllable. Joe. <laughs> Tito. Tito. <laughs> I'm going to tell you this right now. Um, if, if you or anybody you, you know likes Michael Jackson, I don't like to pass judgment. And you know what happens? It's, it's bullying. I don't want to bully, but you're, uh, you're retarded. <laughs> if, you, if you think Michael Jackson did nothing wrong, if you think for a second that him being off this planet isn't a good thing for every kid in the world, you're stupid. And I mean it. And, ah, and you, Shamo, Shamo. Suck it. Shamo. <laughs> You're listening to the Dean Blundell Show podcast from Edge.ca. Hey, morning. Hey, what happened? What happened? <laughs> that was hey, Tiger Woods' mom, right? What happened? Yeah, that's Tiger's mom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's Tiger, he fell out of the top 50 in golf, if you can believe yeah. that, uh, because he sucks. Donkey, you know what? What happened to him? He needs to get back on the Hoover train. Dude, he, that, that's what makes him focus. <laughs> choo, choo. Here Puna- comes the Hoover train. Punani is his Ritalin. <laughs> hey, what happened? What happened? Hey, what happened? Uh, time for what happened. Best confession wins. Uh, we got a ton of stuff to give away, Todd. Yeah, the Thing movie passes Matthew Good and Kings of Leon. All right, man. Tickets. Hey, The Edge. Hey, what's up? Hey, who's this? Uh, it's uh, Derek from how, Kitchener. How old are you? Ten. Um, about twenty. I just turned twenty-nine, actually. Why do you Why do you have such a high voice? Did you Did you take one in the nuts? Uh, no, not quite. But I just do, it and everyone thinks I have a yeah, girly voice. Yeah, when really someone care. calls your house, like uh, like when you get telemarketer phone calls, yeah. can I ask you a question? Are you get and you start yeah. talking to they go, uh, uh, yes, ma'am. Is your husband around? I actually get that all the time. I actually used to be one of those uh, phone caller people, and people would call me that. That's like a prank call. <laughs> you know what? Does everyone ask you to talk to the father of the household? No, not quite. But, you know, I just go along with it. Yeah, I don't really care. Nah, be yourself, dude. Sounds like he's going to love it. No, he's cool. He just does what he does. It's, he is, no, it's who he is, but he's, he's, you're a pretty cute little guy. <laughs> he seems like he's really cute. Are you cute. like 6'10 and 340 pounds? <laughs> no, I'm pretty small. All right, dude. Hey, what happened? What happened? Uh, well, uh, once uh, I responded to a Craigslist ad uh, to go to a swingers party, and oh. I, I went to do that. And Imagine awesome. this guy showing up at a swingers party. I'm here. I'm here for the gangbang. <laughs> Who's first? Go ahead. 
But it was it, it, it was pretty scary because there's not a lot of hot chicks there. It's pretty, yeah. You know, you don't think. You know why they're swinging, right? You know why they're swinging? Is because. Uh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. They get it from whoever they, get it they can. Else, right? Go ahead. That, that's pretty much it. Oh, did anything happen? Oh, uh, yeah, you know, some girls wanted to do some stuff with me, but, you know, I, yeah, I'm not, I wasn't that desperate. <laughs> Attaboy. Lots of guys are. Like, most guys would show up and go, man, I'm here, even though you're all yeah. pigs, I might as well. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah. I love those guys, too. <laughs> yeah. Hi, The Edge. Hey, guys. How's it going? Good, dude. What's your name? It's uh, Sean. Hey, what happened? What happened? <laughs> well, first, I want to say uh, bye to me. This one with you, guy. Yeah, he's leaving soon. Wednesday's and, his last day. And uh, what happened, this is more kind of what's wrong with me slash uh, thanks to you guys, is uh, first off, I'm uncircumcised. Uh-oh. It's all right. Um, <laughs> second of all, I'm uh, I'm redhead. Oh, no. You can't do anything and, about uh, that. So what happened was, um, because of that uh, sperm bank story you guys told, yeah. uh, my girlfriend started thinking, well, maybe I don't want ginger babies either, and she's out of here. No way. Yeah. Sorry, dude. Wow, oh, she's shallow, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's so better off. Uh, Are you pissed at us? No, no. It, uh, I mean, if that's the reason why she's going to leave, is obviously there wasn't much of a need for her to stay kind of thing, right? Well, it might have been a combo deal, the fact you got a dirty toque and you're yeah. a ginger. That might be it. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking, brother. Put a, new, put a new phrase for the word fire crotch, I guess? Yes, I guess so. Yeah, with all the stuff you got hiding in that foreskin. Well, she didn't want the weaker gene pool. No, she didn't. <laughs> Give her credit. Do you blame her? <laughs> no. Hi, The Edge. Hello? Hi, who's this? This is Lee. What's up, Lee? How are you? I'm doing all things and yourself. Good, thanks. Where are you calling from? Um, with oh, oh, oh with yeah. Yo, how you doing, Yo, eh? You been to the dirt? <laughs> Love the dirt, eh? Dirt hey, what happened? What happened? Okay. So, um, a few months ago, I had oral surgery done on my mouth to get some wisdom teeth taken out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oral. So, <laughs> so, um, it was kind of like, I don't know, kind of big surgery. They had to put me under and stuff, right? Yeah. So, um, I wake up. Going and under. <laughs> right. Ever ever since um, I've gotten my wisdom teeth out, my mouth hasn't been open, like hasn't been able to open as wide, right? Oh, oh, right. Yeah. It looks like you need a meatus in your life. That's <laughs> ah, that makes, makes it small better. Penis. Makes it better. Tight. Yeah. They um they screwed something up in my gums, so now it's a little like like uh, I, said, I can't open my mouth. Ah, so. screwed your gums. <laughs> <Sure. laughs> so that's that's good. like you're doing it right. Oh ah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, um, I decided to give my boyfriend... Um, yeah, we here. totally got ah, it. Yeah, with you. And, um, my mouth got stuck around his... Yeah, mouth. we know exactly ah. what that means. You broke the clot. And I couldn't get... I couldn't... Uh, so, so yeah, like... Uh, 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 yeah, Dad, and, Dad, help us. Daddy, <laughs> help us. Help me, Dad. How does it not... <laughs> how'd you get it off? He had to call 911. What is... Really? Oh, she couldn't yeah. do that. Ah, that's, a, that's a tight mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you live? <laughs> what, else? Beach, what, what else do you say? <laughs> hey, guys, just so you know, there's a hot yeah. babe up in Wasaga Beach with Beach a tight area mouth. Four. <laughs> yeah, barely open that thing. It'd be the best. <laughs> Hi, The Edge. Hello? Hey, brother. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Oh, pretty good, pretty good. Hey, what happened? Hey, what happened? What happened? <laughs> well, so for the last year and a half, I've yeah. been uh, trying to get my girlfriend to go in the back. To oh, you? <laughs> yeah, I've been trying. You want oh, it on? Okay. Oh, you, you oh, want to oh. do it with her because when you said it, dude, yeah. it sounded like you wanted her to do it to you. Oh, no, no, no. Dude, no, 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 no that's no, gross. Yeah. I mean, yeah, no, no, not at all, no. <laughs> Nothing bigger than a pinky. <laughs> so finally, she 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 finally says yes. So I was uh, pretty excited. And the only thing she says she wants is to be romantic. Uh, oh, dude, oh, that is oh, it's yeah, never, yeah, never yeah, romantic. It's never, that's not a romantic <laughs> thing. So I, I light up. A Does she want it to be romantic light. or not hurt? <laughs> 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 so uh, yes, I light up a whole a bunch of candles in the washroom, and uh, we started doing our thing in the washroom. Now it won't. Sounds happen. like things were getting pretty wet. <laughs> <laughs> so within the 15 minutes, her parents were gone. They just left the house. So that's when we went into the washroom. Right after they left. Did well, you go into the washroom, or did you go into the toilet? <laughs> 
Okay, so uh, <laughs> now, dude, our stuff's way funnier than yours. <laughs> Hi, the Edge. <laughs> Hi, the Edge. Hello. Hi, who's this? This is Jill. Jill. Yes. Or is it Jill? <laughs> Go ahead. Good. How are you? I have to slowly pull over so I don't crash. Hey, what happened? What happened? <laughs> so Saturday night, um, well, more into sa- Sunday morning, um, I start having really graphic sex dreams. And it was actually Dean who was the person that I was. I don't know how graphic I can be. Uh, you can be pretty graphic. And if, <laughs> and if it's too graphic, I'll just get rid of it. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I was. Well, first of all, it was quite big. And I was going. Down it is and- quite big. <laughs> <laughs> But basically, at the point, then I started uh, reverse cowgirl. Reverse cowgirl. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Were you reverse or were you a cowgirl? Yeah. <laughs> I get it. Go ahead. <laughs> um, basically, at that point, my boyfriend walked in and woke me up, and I was on my back with my hand. So uh, we basically kind of did it. <laughs> I can do that to chicks when they're <laughs> sleeping. Congratulations, you win. Oh. <laughs> You're a winner. Thank or you does it much. mean you just won? <laughs> the Dean Blundell Show. Wake up. Mornings. Wake up. You know, when you grow up a young child in Alberta, you go, I was a, I was a huge Oilers fan. I hated the Flames. Man, I hated the Flames. They oh, gave me fits. You too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of the all-time great Flames and uh, great hockey players to uh, lace up the skates. Good Canadian boy. Theo Fleury is yeah. here, everybody. What a pleasure. Awesome. Thank yeah. you. Nice to see you. You too. You look great. Thanks. Yeah. Healthy, happy, everything good? Yeah, everything's great. Yeah. yeah. It's been a uh, crazy few years since the book came out. But, uh, no kidding. Having lots of fun and uh, helping lots of people. I guess so. What What are you doing now? Uh, obviously, uh, your book, which, by the way, is, is was I hadn't read a book probably in two years before that. Read your book, and I haven't read a book since. It <laughs> might be a compliment, or I books. might be lazy. But I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, but what What an incredible book, and what a great story you have to share with people in as far as helping others now in your, yeah, in your, in your situation. You know, uh, I just need to get some stuff off my chest, and uh, you know. Uh, tried to be as honest as I could and, and open as I could. And, uh, you know, the book, I, I didn't want it to be a Jose Canseco book where I'm throwing my teammates under the bus and yeah. all that. You know, the story was about me and uh, um, and some of the struggles that I that I had during life and, uh, and how I got through it all and, uh, you know, how important it is now to, you know, to give back and, and help other people that have, uh, you know, gone through similar stuff. You know what I always wanted to ask you after the Sheldon Kennedy stuff happened, um, and then there was a long break of silence, and then you came out. Mm-hmm. Um, in that time frame, and, and it's, it's not, I don't really care why you waited, mm-hmm. it, it must have eaten you up for the however many years between Sheldon coming out and then you saying, yeah, dude, that happened to me too. Well, I was so drunk, bacon, wasted. You know, I don't think that was the, you know, I wasn't thinking about that. Really? Really? Yeah. You know. You're skating so good too. <laughs> yeah. did, you ever, did you ever play wasted? Did you ever play drunk? Did you ever go to a no, game? I still? never went no. to a game. No. no. Um, practice? I mean, oh yeah, lots of practice. Yeah, Hung over? Sure. Hung over. Yeah, and in still pretty, pretty bad shape. So <laughs> I've done lots of shows like that here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little different. Though. In fact, yeah. we don't but, have men uh, beating the piss out of us. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you know, and I really wanted my opportunity to, to come forward to have the biggest impact. And mm-hmm. uh, if I was still, you know, doing the stuff that I was doing, I don't think it would have had the same impact that, that, uh, that it had. So, um, so you stopped the other stuff, making sure that people took you more seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Interesting. Because, um, first of all, I needed to get sober first. Yeah. Right. And, uh, you know, and then once that happened and got some some good uh, sobriety under my belt and some good time, then I thought, you know, it'd be a great time to write a book. And mm-hmm. and uh, and like I said, you know, it, it, I couldn't even imagine that uh, the book would have had the success that it did. But uh, um, 
you know, like I said, at the end of the day, we we're help like we're actually saving lives. And yeah, that's really kind of cool. crazy. Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah, so, well, wait. think think about that. Think about think about it. A, a life is a terrible thing to waste. Uh, it, re- it really, really is, it, especially uh, when when you weren't responsible for the pain that you've gone through. Mm-hmm. So you know when when you get a chance to get around and talk to the people that maybe have gone through something similar, uh, what, what's the reaction that you get from people? Or you know or, what, what you must they must be so thankful that they have someone who's got the profile you have mm-hmm. that's using it to do good things. Well, it's amazing how many confessions I get after, you know, a book signing or a a speaking engagement or, you know, guys coming up and saying, you know, barely able to get the words out. But, you know, me too, you know, so Mm. and, uh, you know, the stats don't lie, you know, one in three girls, one in six boys by the time they're 18 years old have been sexually molested. So Mm -hmm. two out of every nine people. Yeah. Not only that, there's 750,000 pedophiles online every single day. Are you serious? Every day. And they're not looking at real estate, right? They're looking at the most despicable, horrible pictures you've ever seen in your life. So, um, And I've seen a huge shift and a huge change already in the short time that I've been in, around the subject, right? People are starting to talk about it. And, and you guys are, are more than open to, you know talk about the yeah. you know, what what's going on here so um and it's just about educating people that's yeah. it because people uh don't know about this uh but they do it's I, an ugly I, it's an ugly topic yeah and, and I so guess, people are afraid right yeah and I, one of the things do you tell these victims or people you meet that if they ever hear of this or talk about it is to you, you need to be you need to tell people disclose what's going on the earlier the better i would imagine i'm yeah, just asking and, yeah. and the thing is is that everybody who this happens to thinks that they're the only person in the world that this has happened to. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm telling you, no, it's, it's, it's the biggest epidemic we have on the planet, mm-hmm. you know? And, uh, you know, when you throw that stat out and then you see the mental health stat, one in five people suffer from, uh, mental illness. So I guarantee that one person has been sexually abused. Mm-hmm. It's just, huh. you know, it's just the way that it is. And, and what I've discovered now is I think the core of every issue and every problem we have in society starts with some sort of abuse. Mm -hmm. And then you pick your poison as to how you want to deal with it the rest of your life until you can get that point where you can get honest with yourself and and find the help you need and and move on in life. But, you know, there's so many people that that, uh, commit suicide because they they, they see there's there's no way out. They feel trapped. Yeah, they feel trapped. So, Mm -hmm. you know, what we're trying to say is no, you know. I've been there. I've, I've I've experienced what you've experienced, and uh, I was able to find the help that I that I needed. And you know what? I have the greatest life you can possibly imagine today. Because uh, uh, to me, my life is all about helping people. Yeah. And, and and once you grasp onto that concept, man, you know the world just opens up for you. What an amazing perspective to have to go through what you've gone through. I mean, there, there's been wonderful things in your life too. Mm-hmm. You know, the, between family and professional hockey, and then the, the notoriety that you, you've achieved, and the fame, and and the the adulation from the people when you scored that goal against Vancouver, which oh, super pissed me what off. What a celebration, too! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know, and not only that, I'm you know I, I'm a Paris figure skater as well. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, can you stick around for yeah, a second? We'll talk about Theo yeah. Fleury, our guest here. Yeah. Everybody, uh, a true inspiration, a good guy, too. He's got a genuine smile. We'll talk to him next about Battle of the Blades. He says, you know, I, I should be skating. That's what he just said to us a couple of things. I yeah, off air, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. he's judging now, for yeah, those who don't yeah. know. Yeah, and if you, yeah. know, if you know anything about Theo, and, and we've known him now for approximately 10 minutes, he doesn't judge anybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, merciful God, why? Why now? I'm a head for the hills. This is the Dean Liddell Show on 102.1 the edge. Our guest uh, now a judge with Battle of the Blades and uh, former Calgary Flame, most notably Calgary Flame. He had some good years in a couple of other markets too, but uh, Theo Fleury, everybody, our guest again. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming. Thanks for sticking around. Yeah, no problem. So the Battle of the Blades, your second time on it, but this yep. is your first time judging. How yes. do you like it? Uh, I prefer skating. Yeah. Um, just, you know, because I have a couple of my teammates that I played with tonight. It doesn't come down to... Who are you gonna pick? Yeah. Why? So, who, who's on the bottom of the barrel? Is Kale at the bottom? I don't of the know. Barrel? Like I don't know yeah. at this point. But I'm just saying. You know that would be difficult to, to. You don't want to see them go. No. And you can't be biased. Well, you know what? It, it's it's such a huge commitment, 
and and you know you're really putting yourself out there mm -hmm. you really are you know and uh you know you just hate to see guys leave the show you know mm -hmm. because we all love it like once we do it and we we talk about it we all love doing the show that's what i was going to ask you because i think a lot of people would think oh well these guys are doing it for charity. They're nice guys. They're all rich. Who cares? Mm. You know, they're just bored or whatever. But but really, every guy that we've had in here loves it. Like, yeah. absolutely loves it. it. I tell you, it was probably the top 10 thing I've done in my life. Wow. Really. At the end of the day, uh, and when I was sitting there uh, watching the pairs, I really missed skating and performing. Like, it, there's, you know, because when you leave the game, mm -hmm. you know, and I've said this many times, uh, the thing we miss is that physical competition. Yeah. Right? You know, now you just got to go beat up your banker, right? You know, <laughs> so you don't play squash? I guess you don't play squash. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard. You know, it's really hard to find that yeah. pure competition. So yeah. when Battle of the Blades came out, you know, it was like, you know, like uh, Sunday nights for the show. It's like game day, right? Yeah. yeah. You know, you have adrenaline rush yeah, and the nervous you, energy yeah. and you all know, that stuff. You got to put on your unitard. Yeah. yeah. And your rhinestones. <laughs> your rubber suit, you know. So. <laughs> but yeah, you know, it's uh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it really is. It looks like it. You know, it's it's it. It would be cool uh, because you guys lived lives that uh, Canadian young men dream about, right? You know, uh, getting on a plane, winning the Stanley Cup. Did, I think you won it in your rookie year, did you not? Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. You, you know, you, 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 a great picture of you sleeping with the cup too, and you bet it was great. Um, and the line underneath was good too. What's that? I Best remember. thing I ever slept with. <laughs> Well, it didn't talk back. Yeah, yeah. You, know, you don't have to pay an alimony, too. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Except a lot of people sit from it before. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That was great. Maybe the cup was a whore. The cup was a whore. The cup's a whore. But it was, it was amazing because you, 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 know, you live this life as a young kid. And, and you know, I, I grew up. I grew up scoring a Stanley Cup winning goal. I grew up mm -hmm. uh, winning in Game Six on my driveway. We all do. So yeah. you live this life, and then boom, you decide to hang them up. Mm -hmm. You got to look for something to be competitive at next, right? Yeah, so absolutely. what? What is it in your life other than battle the like, when you did battle blades? What do you do now? Like, what? what yeah, yeah. How do you get your energy out? Well, it's you know, it's the cause, right? It's yeah. my cause, right? Yeah. Uh, every second, every moment of my life now is uh, is trying to reach out to that next person that's struggling and say hey you know i'm here to help and and whatever i can do to help you i'm uh, you know i'm here for you so that's mm. you know that's what it's all about really what a, it's amazing day. yeah man and, so, I, and you said earlier with uh with this platform you have and with, and with the the person you are so well known that i mean it, i'm sure it allows so many people to come clean with with their demons mm. and i you know and it takes someone of your stature to do that to allow people like that so mm. really it's, it's it's awesome that well, you're doing thank that. you yeah, yeah. And, and uh, when you come to that realization, and I think everybody should, and, and, you know, life is complicated. We make yeah. life way too complicated. And it's very simple. Work hard and give back. You do those two things, everything else takes care of itself. Mm -hmm. It really does. Mm -hmm. And that's all, I, that's all I've done. Mm -hmm. You know, I've worked really hard on getting my life back together. And now that it's together, mm -hmm. help people and... It's amazing. Well, you, you know, and, and the other thing is too is that you said all the stories. I remember you read a story about either you bought someone's Porsche cash just because you had yeah, the it was money. Brian Brards, Brian Brards, and he's in the it's, show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do that, that that one day? You came back and you. I, it was a great story if you could tell it yeah, real I, quick. I uh, I had a great night at the casino. Mm -hmm. and, uh, <laughs> How much is a great night though? A couple hundred grand. Wow. That is a really did you, good night. Did you, you just start with twenties? Did you ask for it? No, in 50s? hundreds. Yes, um, yeah. stacks of ten thousand. Right. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's so gangster, man. That's so cool. <laughs> you must have been wearing cargo pants to carry all that. <laughs> no, it was in a brown paper bag. That was it. Was it really? Yeah. And a couple security yards walk you out and you know get you in the car. But what were you playing? Uh, blackjack. A couple yeah. hundred grand. Of blackjack. Were they crapping themselves when you left the table? No. They didn't care. No. Happy. That's why Vegas is built. Yeah. Everybody's winning. Did you? Yeah. 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 Oh, we'll have them back. Yeah. Yeah. So you, so you, so you win a couple hundred grand. Yeah. And uh, 
was talking to Brian after practice. He says, hey, I'm going to sell my Porsche. I'm like, how much you want for it? He said, 50 grand. I said, here, I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> he was in the car. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's an easy deal. <laughs> if he had known how much money he had, he would have said 70. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I meant 100. <laughs> but you know what? That's... That's a perfect example of the insanity of, you know, the disease of, you know, alcoholism and yeah. drug addiction and abuse is, you know, you know, I used to have a saying, you know, it hasn't gotten weird enough for me yet. Right. And that was the truth. You know, it was just crazy. So. And at some point, though, you said that drugs and alcohol just stopped working. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. That is awesome. Yeah, yeah you're at a good point. You beat man. it. Yeah. You beat well, it. <laughs> you know, when, when it takes you four days to get to the buzz that you like, right? You know, yeah. that, you, you know. It was four days. It took oh, you four yeah. days to get yeah. to where you needed to be. Yeah. So, wow, yeah. crazy stuff. It is crazy, but, but you know I'm, what? Uh, you know, you're especially because you're yeah. a little guy. <laughs> yeah, I know. You think you'd be done after a shot of uh, Crantini or something? Yeah. No, no, God no. No, I sank many a good man, zipped them up, and put them in body bags and sent them home. Uh, as you should and you know what those stories translate yeah. into uh the the life that you lead and the effect you have on people today so obviously you're thankful for me i'm thankful you came uh it was a is a great life pleasure to meet you yeah uh, thank so you. thank you very much yeah, for coming appreciate you having me on so. anytime please come back we'll we'd be happy and, uh, to share your watch message. out for the uh, country music album we're got uh, we're working on it hopefully next year mm -hmm. yeah so we got uh 12 songs written mm -hmm. and uh two recorded so we're we're just kind of was, along. It was one your, of them you played on Battle yeah. of Blades last yeah, we, year? And we played yeah. it here. We played oh, did it you? Here. Oh, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. Yeah, did we you like it? it? It was great. You could yeah. sing your balls off, yeah. dude. Yeah. But did you lose that one? When you Was that the one you got kicked off no, the show? The week, no, okay. The, the week after. Okay, I was going to yeah. say oh, a few. So when I was, as a result uh, did my uh, very best John Travolta impression. What was that? Staying alive. That's what I skated to. Oh, did you really? I didn't know that. I don't think I watched it. And I caught a toe pick in the... I was in the bottom two that week. I caught a toe pick right at the end. and Yeah. It's always a hazard when you're wearing lady skates. Yeah. <laughs> lady skates. Did the onesie snap on the fall? <laughs> no, 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 it was good. It was good. The Tierra gun. Uh, oh, wow. Theo Fleury, our guest, Battle of the Blades. Uh, watch it tonight, CBC. What time again? Eight? Eight o'clock, okay. CBC tonight. Uh, Battle of Blades, the elimination night. Uh, Theo's a judge. And you know what? Uh, you got a website, too? Yes, uh, theofleury14.com. So. Uh, Enter you on Twitter? Yes, at theofleury14. Okay. And Facebook, too. Okay, check right. out Theo Fleury. Uh, and if uh, you know what? He's the kind of guy, I'm sure if you reach out to him in those in, in some of that social networking stuff and you got some issues, he's the kind of guy that will get back to you, and I know that. So Yeah, just you know, even go to the website and uh, fill out the info for him, and uh, I'll, I try to answer as many people as I can. So. Oh, you're a good man. Keep up the fight. If you need some help with it, we're here for you. Yep. Appreciate that. Theo Fleury, everybody. Yeah. You're listening to the Dean Blundell Show podcast from edge.ca. This is your yeah. Edge it. Hold it. Files <laughs> with Dean Blundell <laughs> on the edge. You know, it's amazing. I'm getting a... Uh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> Is it lady? She's so mad. Her name's Wendy. She's so mad about the Michael Jackson jokes. I just got an email from her. Oh, yeah. It wasn't even a joke. We played the audio of his dying last words. And she got all pissed off. And then I told her to eat S. And she asked for proof about him being a pedophile. And I said the proof is dead. He had a heart attack after administering illegal drugs to himself and paying out $200 million to children due to his innocence. Because <laughs> that's what you do when you're innocent. You pay it out. I, I then maybe said something about her being a moronic middle-aged woman who needs to shut the F up and go save the whales. I would think that that would be more appropriate for use of her time. <laughs> then I get this beauty. This is hilarious. Dean, may I suggest that you broadcast current, accurate, and non-discriminating information regarding Mr. Jackson? Obscene comments and false statements will prove to be your enemy. <laughs> Litigation is pending. Regards. So if I'm to understand this correctly, wow, she's going to sue me on behalf of Michael Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, he has to say stuff about you that's hurting your, your, your that's slanderous towards you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you, you, you can't represent words. people with, just because a celebrity is tarnished in your mind. <laughs> 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 you are crazy. <laughs> I, I, that's what I said. I said, go ahead, nutball. Sue me on behalf of Michael Jackson. I know how Mr. Jackson told time, though. <laughs> 
Oh, when the uh, big hand touched the little hand? Yeah, yeah. hang on. Yeah. I'll send it while we're on the air. <laughs> <laughs> send. <laughs> yeah, that's how you get all those Michael Jackson lovers. Eh? You send them a Michael Jackson joke at the yeah, end of yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. P.S. <laughs> yeah. 12-year-old sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Why do people do this? They have just nothing better to no, do. No, it's because yeah. she really loves uh, Billie Jean. It meant a lot to me when I was 15. Now I'm a 48-year-old fat chick. With nothing else to do. Except email you about how upset I am. And listen to Thriller on my Walkman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she probably did, too. Yeah, Have you seen the people camped outside the, the courthouse? Yeah, it's oh, crazy. It's nuts. They have t-shirts made up and everything. The, the, the one fat guy that quit his job at Burger King and down in Arkansas and, and just quit his job, Yeah, went up there to be part of the trial, just to sit in front. So he's sitting in this monument. This guy's sitting in a monument crying. As the trial's going on, he's crying, singing Michael Jackson song. It's like twenty-five-year-old zit-faced fat guy from Arkansas. <laughs> Who does that? Anyway, uh, Father, uh, time for your edge files. So father uh, dropped dead on the slopes of Mount Kilimanjaro just uh, minutes after texting his wife, telling her he was exhausted but happy to reach the top. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, climbed yeah. all the way up yeah. Mount Kilimanjaro. He Trained went out on top. for two yeah, years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this guy, Alistair Cook, two years. He loves climbing mountains. It was his 70th birthday. He got to the peak. The picture's hilarious. He looks like he's going to die anytime <laughs> soon, too. And he had his buddy take the picture. So as soon as he took the picture, he turned around and started to go down. Boom. Dropped dead of a heart attack. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Isn't he the host of Masterpiece him- Theater? No. Oh, okay. oh. No, yeah, give not. him credit. Yeah, he got yeah, there. He got there, man. Yeah. It would have sucked if it was like one step away. Fall forward. Fall forward. Take a picture. <laughs> Prop him up. Yeah. Uh, scientists, uh, I'm meaning to drum roll here in a second. Meet if you could stay oh. on it. Scientists at Tel Aviv University have created a synthetic cerebellum which can receive sensory inputs from the brain stem, a region that acts as a conduit. For information from the rest of the body. Their device can interpret these inputs and they put a, a fake cerebellum in a rat. <gasps> no. I know. Really? I know. Right in a rat. Like a rat robot. What's a cerebellum? <laughs> I'm going to eat the cheese. <laughs> Is that what a robot rat sounds like? I think so. <laughs> To test the chip, they anesthetized a rat. Oh, it's a chip. And disabled its cerebellum before hooking it up with their synthetic versions, like a chip they put in the brain. Mm -hmm. They then tried to teach the uh, rat conditioned motor reflex, a blink, combined with an auditory tune with a puff of air on the eye, until the animal blinked on hearing the tone alone. I don't know what that means, (laughs) but I can tell you this. Richard Gere's going to party all night with that thing. (laughs) Are you telling me there's a robot, robot rat? Doesn't get tired, huh? Nope. I'll charge the batteries and give me the controller. <laughs> <laughs> I got some lube, a sock, a roll of toilet paper. I'm ready. Here we go. I send a message to it. He's like, I'll send a message to him to come out when he's getting ready. <laughs> I am not done. <laughs> And a single mother is uh, told of her torment after discovering how a longtime lover tricked her into believing he was a man when she was, in fact, a dude. A chick. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Nicole Lindsay was shocked to learn of the boyfriend she thought she was going to marry was actually a lesbian sex offender called Samantha Brooks. <laughs> lesbian sex offenders. <laughs> they dated for three years. Yeah, she didn't know? Three years. <laughs> Did he? Get- they had intercourse, yeah. What? I'm confused. I know. Me too. <laughs> uh, she described the, the relationship thing? with the uh, with the the, the lesbian uh, that was parading around as a dude. Uh, she used a modified wooden toilet roll uh, holder in their sexual relationship. What? Yeah. Uh huh. She did splinters. <laughs> she told the uh, she told the newspaper she was uncomfortably naked in front of a partner, uh, saying that uh, she was suffering from testicular cancer, which why she didn't have any balls. Oh, that's oh, a good one. Okay. Yeah, blame okay. it on the testicular yeah. cancer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Real nice. Yeah. <laughs> Saying uh, she always loved having sex with her and hoped to marry her boyfriend. She only found out she wasn't 
He wasn't a sh- he wasn't a he. He was a she. It was very Where's confusing. The but the penis that was the roll of toilet paper. He, I he, know. He, 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 he had it all colored. It she whatever had it all yeah. colored. It looked like a wiener. It's like a modified no, wooden wiener. But still, I know you'd think you, you know I'd be able to tell. They'd always have sex with the lights out. She uh, said, and she uh, clearly didn't do the uh, the the no you the know, face love. Yeah, she's yeah. one of those. I would, yeah. yeah, would. <laughs> Gonna chip a tooth. Anyway, uh, she found out she wasn't when she walked in and uh, saw the, the 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 lesbian lover who was parading around, uh, uh, inserting a feminine hygiene product. Still had that going yeah. on oh, too. Yeah. yeah. How do you explain huh? that one? Imagine if they were missing over the three years too. <laughs> I, you know, for three years, I kept thinking I had like more than I, you know, that were on the shelf. Yeah. They went missing. I don't know what the hell was going on. <laughs> Oh, she's having her, your boyfriend's having her yeah. period. That's what. <laughs> what a duping. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the wooden dink, too. Those are your edge files. Whatever the hell day it is in uh, October the year 2011. The edge files. On 102.1. The edge. Edge. Listening to the Dean Bundell Show podcast on your Dean Bundell Show podcast listening device, which probably is running from edge.ca. A while ago, we had these guys from Pug Life on. Uh, Pug Life is uh, the, these these guys, these rednecks, he's very proud, and they reeked. They smelled like Biola. Oh, they did not Sausage smell fest. good. Yeah, yeah. Awful. Anyway, uh, they got a guy named Ray, and Ray, uh, this guy's fun, fun, funny guy. He, older dude. He, older guy. He's like driving around. He, he's uh, he's on the phone with us right now, and uh, he's got some stuff to talk about. Hi, Ray. How are you? Yeah, I'm not doing too bad. How are you? We're doing great. Dude, you, you sound good. Yeah, yeah. Well, I haven't had a drink in a couple weeks. And that's oh, boy. It's almost like quitting for me. <laughs> <laughs> so now, Ray, you're the star of these videos. I don't know what they're called, just Pug Life videos, uh, where you go and you, you t- tell us how you got started doing all these jumps for uh, the guys at Rutney's. Well, I was looking uh, lo- looking for someone to fix my car. I, uh, I lost the exhaust system, so I took it out there, and they were new to Rodney, so I fixed it, and we just took it from there, and I started looking at the equipment they had running around there, so we just got out of there and... That's that's it. We just started doing some stupid. Did you li- now? Don't swear. Okay, sorry. Did, that's sorry. okay. Did you did you like doing the stupid stuff like all the jumps? Oh, and yeah, stuff? I, I love it. I love it. I want to get back into it, but right now things are rough. Why are things rough? Well, I hurt myself in a jump and um, hurt my back and my neck. Was that Ray's last jump? No, no. This was um, after I left them. I I, I started practicing and, and uh, <laughs> on what. <laughs> well, it's the same thing, eh? All Just a tractor? A go- go- well, I was using a go-kart, and they're too low. Yeah. When I, when I come down, I just... Jam your, out, man. Yeah, big time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because golf carts, you got some shocks. Some absor- you can absorb it a little bit. <laughs> God. Dude, weren't you, aren't you scared? Weren't you scared to do all this stuff? No, no. See, I, I, I've never been scared to do stuff like that. Like, Get the confidence antlers? Well, yeah. Well, yeah. But um, then they started screwing me around, so I had to leave. What's screwing you around? Well, oh, he, he makes it sound like he, he's been fixing my car for a lifetime, but he only fixed it once. And the estimate he gave me was $160, so that's what I got out of all this. Oh, hey, so, you, okay. he, so you did all these jumps for free, right? Yeah. like uh, I didn't even know they were going on YouTube until, until my wife uh, pointed it out to me, and then I see you know 500,000 people watching this thing, and uh, I thought, what the hell is going on? So... Now I see he's posting comments on me like they're all lies. Eh? I come to charge him with slander. All right, or, or, why? why? Now, how many times have you been arrested, by the way, for drinking and driving? Oh, not many. Six. <laughs> That's a bit. I thought, I thought it, was, it was okay. <laughs> well, it's a, drinking and driving is never okay, Ray. <laughs> drinking and driving. <laughs> it's never okay, bro. Yeah. Oh God! I love Ray. Ray, I got. I just want to give a little backdrop to the story. God, first, and driving first, with first off, Ray, one quick oh. question. I'm gonna. I just want to do some backdrop. How old are you? I'm. Still, I'll be 58 in January. Wow, good for you. So you've been working with these guys, Pug Life. They've been putting your videos on YouTube, and and what you found out through your wife, I guess, is that you actually make some money when you get like hundreds of thousands of hits. People actually get paid, and that's what's pissing you off, right? Because you only saw the 160 bucks. Well, yeah, like, like, and that wasn't cash. That was so they fixed my car. And and did you even know that you were being put on YouTube? Your videos? No, I didn't. So you just not were doing these jumps for fun? Yeah, and and they weren't supposed to. They were only supposed to release a couple. Just Ray, but I never saw it. You know, Ray, come on. 
You didn't know no. you were doing that for you. You, you were just doing it because you were having. Were you wasted every time you did them? No, not really. A lot of it's. Uh, Buzzed? Like Were you buzzing? Me pretty, pretty drunk, but I wasn't that drunk. No, <laughs> like out of ten, no, out of ten, how drunk were you, Ray? Oh, about nine. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I wasn't wasted. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. <laughs> You're out pretty t- dickered. Out of ten, what's the drunkest you've been? Oh, uh, uh, I didn't know my own name a lot of times. Yeah, you know it but, now though, right? So you could. You haven't oh, had a drink yeah, in two like, weeks. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. That's 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 pretty rough on me. You know. Do you feel Coffee, better now that you haven't had a drink for two weeks? No, no, no. Coffee, it's not going down as good as beer. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah. But no, these guys. I gotta. I gotta try to get a job so I can save some money up and, and get some equipment. I gotta. The wife's gonna help me out. Oh, good. Come, how know, long? How, how how long you been married there, bud? I was with her for ten years. I got a five year old with her. So. How old are you? Fifty eight. He said. You're fifty eight. Yeah. You had a kid at fifty three. Fifty well, fifty two. I'm fifty seven and a half. So oh, okay. Fifty seven and a half. You yeah. still, you're supposed to stop that fifty you know, years you're ago. Ten. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're awesome, dude. So, what are you gonna do? Do you want? Are, do you? Do you are, did, has this guy made a lot of money off of you? Is that what you're saying? Oh yeah. So, uh, um, yeah. How I much? hear my friends are talking about how much they're, they're making a killing. You know. What's a killing in uh, Rutney's uh, minds? Well, I don't know. It's, it's it's a lot. It's a big number. Yeah. What do you think? I, Take a guess. I don't know. Uh, fifty thousand. I heard once this was about four or five months ago. They already had they made twenty thousand, so that that's a few months ago. So so I don't know what what they're doing, eh? Like, and why, why don't you go yeah. ask them for money, dude? Say, hey, you owe me. I'm the one doing the jumps. Well, I did, but they they said there's no money coming in. But I know there's got to be. Yeah, well, you do. Now you have to go get a lawyer. Do you have money for that? No. What do you do for a living? Nothing right now. I'm I just so. uh, relaxing, sitting back, chilling. What do you That's do? What do you, what do you do if you're not drinking? Well, now? I do everything. I eh? like uh, jack of all trades. Eh? Okay, but you're not drinking now, and you don't have a job. So what do you do? Like on a day like today, what do you what are you doing? Sit down, watch TV. What, know, what? Uh, I'm, st- I'm I'm staying at my brother's right now, so I'm kind of helping him out a little bit. His wife's um, <laughs> uh, got a couple of bad hips, and she had a oh no, oh, yeah. So you're helping him out by staying so. with him. Yeah, kind of helping them out, you know, and looking at, you know, looking after her. You know. Yeah, I, I know That's when nice I when I've got uh, family that comes to stay with me because they don't have a place that uh, they I help them out. Oh yeah, That's yeah. good. That's That's good. good. Yeah. yeah. Ray, you ever uh, you ever just look at your own uh, like because you're sitting around not doing much, right? You ever just you ever just go on the YouTube channel and watch yourself jump and stuff? <laughs> yeah, I do. I watch it all the time, and, and I, you know. But well, you're just giving them more good. money. You got to stop. <laughs> well, I know, but um, but I see the. The video's still climbing. It's up to six hundred and ninety-five thousand six hundred and five now. Yeah. Well, how so, could it, how could it not be, dude? You are you are easily the funniest thing on on TV. Here's that's you, the better evil, you, evil one. Is that yeah? The I'm one? looking yeah. at it right now. Here's you having a turn this on for me if you can, Sean. Thanks. Amazing. Hey, hey. check this out, buddy. What do you I think of the hair. confidence antler? Oh, <laughs> something like a willy bar. <laughs> are you hammered there? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Can, can you well, give us? Uh, can you translate like what certain <laughs> things you're saying and what they mean while yeah, what's we play a this bar? What's a willy bar? Well, it's just those. The dragsters have those willy bars out back, you know, so they don't flip over. Oh, backwards. wheelie bars, not willy bars. Wow. That's hey, good. check this out, buddy. What do you think of the confidence antler? Oh, <laughs> something like a willy bar. Yeah. Let's go check out this ramp, boys. Yeah. That's the ramp. Look at her. Look at her, Ray. Holy shit! Hey, <laughs> you want to meet Ray? Come to Rodney. Yeah. We got autographs to sign. Yeah. Look at my ramp. My new one. Yeah. New one. She's I tinkered. gotta check her out. I gotta yeah. check her out. Let's check her out, boys. So, were you wasted there because you're slurring a little bit? Um. Yeah, I was pretty wasted there. Yeah. Nice, nice. <laughs> hey, what's dicker? What does dicker mean? Oh, just drunk, being drunk, you know. All right. What what's the longest uh, you've been dickered for? Like a uh, couple of weeks, couple of months? Oh yeah, about three or four months maybe. Three or four months every wow. day, just wasted. Now is that dinked? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, d- Ray, you know what? Can, I t- can we call you from time to time because you are a great guy and you're a lot of fun. And if there's any way we can help you, we'd be happy to. Well, you know, I really appreciate it. And yeah, I'd like you to call me every once in a while. Okay. Why don't we do this, oh. Ray? 
We're going to call you every once in a while. Like maybe we'll call you later this week. Um, sure. It'd be cool if you sure. were kind of telling us what's going on uh, in and around uh, where you are. So maybe you could be our like our rural correspondent or something yeah. like that. Do you want to do that? Cool. I can do that. All right, you're then, good at it, man. You're real good at what you do. Yeah, I just like to. I just like to get uh, these guys down there to quit posting those phony, um, and then telling me I got I got contracts signed. I never signed shit. <laughs> <laughs> you never signed anything. You don't have a contract signed. Pardon me. You don't have a contract signed with them. No. Yeah. Well, they told me to sign this one piece of paper, but all it had on it was. I was responsible for my own injuries. If I got hurt, I couldn't come back on him. That's it. Oh, and you did. Yeah. yeah now, whatever he um, put, you know, after that, I don't know. Oh, he just added some stuff in <laughs> off of that? Yeah. <laughs> on the Why napkin. is this in a different font? <laughs> on the napkin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ray, listen, we'll call you later in the week, but all the best to you. It was great to finally talk to you. Well, yeah, and thanks a lot for calling in. Yes, call me anytime you want. Okay, my friend, we'll talk to you soon. Okay, thank you, Dean. Later, dude. Yep, bye. The Dean Blundell Show. What happened? Mornings. On the edge. Morning. Time for open phones. Do, 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 do. Anything you want to talk about? What do you want to talk about? You want to talk about that? You want to talk about that? Hi, The Edge. Oh, uh, am I on? Yeah. Here we go. Vice President of Circumcision calling in for an update. The VP of Circumcision, you remember this guy? No. Oh, you don't? Dean Steenology? Yeah, Dean, you wanted to be a uh, Dean yeah, Steenologist. Yeah, 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 yeah. He wanted to be part of our religion, so he went and got circumcised. Yeah. Yep. That's cool. So, uh, so I'd give you guys an update now that I'm all healed up. Took her out for a spin. Feels yeah. way better than before. Oh! <laughs> really? Absolutely. And how was the reaction of the person you were with? Oh, loved it. Really? You thought it was great. So much better. Just like you guys said. Yeah. Anyway, so um, <laughs> yeah, we did. You, we we did. did say that. This is a guy, folks, uh, that was having some uh, schmegmal issues. Uh, he had a foreskin, and so he went to the doctor. And the doctor's like, yeah, "We can just take it off." He's like, "You know what? Do it," because I want to be part of this new religion. So he had it taken off, and then he took it out for a test drive the other day, and he said yeah. it felt awesome, and and, and way better. He said, "Actually, we're, I believe we're words." Now he's recently had both. Yeah. Right. So you so. you're actually somewhat of an expert on circumcision at the moment. Oh, big time. Yeah, you're because very I'm, few I'm people could say this, time. right? I'm what? sorry? Well, I said very few people could say this. It's tough at 10 days old to say what you're telling us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you do, you're bound for greatness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And bonus points for finding a girl into the butt love kit. Oh, you kidding me, kid? Now he's talking. Now he's talking like he's, that. He's indoctrinated into this thing, man. Big time. Well, points for the butt love. Especially because he got nothing to trap the bat in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the don't work. Yeah, I probably so. shouldn't have said that. So I took that right yeah, up. So I thought I'd call you guys. Oh, good for you. you know that I love your advice. And Thanks. Speaking of good advice, yeah. uh, my roommate and I, we both decided to delete our Facebook accounts last week. Man, is there anything else we can get you to do? Dude, I got an email from a guy over the weekend, too, just sort of like yours. Uh, yeah. He said, uh, you know, I, 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 I know you want everybody to get rid of their Facebook accounts, and I resisted, resisted, resisted. I finally got rid of it. He said, my, my life has never been more peaceful, ever. That might have been my email. Oh, was it you? From Steve? Uh, no, that wasn't you. It was oh, somebody okay. else. Well, I, I sent you an email last night. I just I didn't know if you got it. No, it was last week. Yeah, I got your email from last night for sure I did, that you took it for a test spin. Oh, yeah. You yeah, want to talk about me. it, yeah. So I'm glad you called, dude. Yeah, absolutely. Not a boy. Keep the faith. You got rid of his face. Hopefully yeah. there's no road bumps after. <laughs> Some speed bumps. <laughs> 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 Hi, The Edge. Hello? Hey. Hey. How are you? Oh, not bad. What's up? It's Ray. Ray, how are you? What are you oh, doing? Not bad. I'm working. All right. So I'm not dickered, though. All right. I just want to know about the soundboard. Which There's one? There's only two sounds on it, on the website. Yeah, they effed up our soundboard really? where you hear stuff like this. Get me this on that right away. It's not on. <laughs> You got to put it up, put up the volume. That's right. We're training a new guy named Sean, and somehow Sean has made less mistakes than Metis, and it's his he's first day. He's pretty sweet, eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. All right, that's all I really wanted. I've well, we got. We'll fix it. Yeah. Water. Someone, someone else said that I want to put this on the soundboard too. Which one? Well, I'm going that. to apply some nuts to my face this year. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're lucky, you might get a bonus sound. <laughs> You can play the David. <laughs> what's his name? David Caruso. Caruso. Yeah, Caruso game at home. Yeah. Hi, the edge. Hey. Hi. I just wanted to um, request a song, actually. Oh. For 
Boring. Hi, the edge. <laughs> Hello. Hey, dude. Good morning. She wants to request a song. <laughs> I request she goes away. Is this angry Duncan? Is this angry Duncan? Hey, Duncan. Hi, good morning, guys. How are you? We're fine, fine. thanks. How are you? Did you sound already bothered? I'm good because I'm, I'm driving, okay? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What are you guys up to, all right? Just working, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I know yeah, you're yeah, driving. Yeah, We're Monday. waiting for you to... How are the Monday w- drivers? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, definitely. I mean, I was listening earlier. Case of the Mondays, you're damn right. Good <laughs> line of cocaine would do great. But can't really do that because that's illegal. Anyways, I'm on Bathurst here right by Lawrence, and we're almost going to catch someone in the act of doing something stupid, which is, which is, I'll, I'll tell you what it is, because they make me so, I, got, I lose it. So this person's driving a nice car, and because they're driving a nice car, they believe that they have the right of way. Oh, because look at me. I'm in my Beamer, so I get to cut off whoever I want. No, that's not what happens. So I'm about to lay down the law right now if I can get ahead of this bus. Just be <laughs> Careful of those Lawrence buses. Dude, you might buses. want to take on a car the same size as yours, not a bus. Yeah. Yeah. I'm allowed to do these things, okay? One moment. Uh, let me just yeah. let me just get in range over here. Here he is. Here's the shock horse. One second. Hey. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, that's a nice car you're driving. What year is that? Yeah. No, I don't care. You cut me off. Huh? That's not, excuse me. Is your son carrying there? I see a tickle the Elmo. You should tickle your and learn how to drive, you jerk. <laughs> <laughs> how about that? Yeah. Excuse me? Ma'am, excuse me, ma'am. I wasn't talking to you, okay? You look like Oprah Winfrey. All right, don't even look at me. Yeah, you want to shave? I got a shaver here. Mach 3, shave your facial hair, bitch. <laughs> No, sir. Listen, sir. I'm allowed to talk to whoever I want. You're violating traffic laws. You're not going to pay attention to a ticket. This is justice on the road. He's my turd, you turd muffin. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Feels good, eh, Duncan? <laughs> Feels good, buddy. Oh, he hung up. He's out. Oh, he's out. He went or, out on or, a high. I couldn't or, stop laughing. Or the bus just hit him. Yeah. <laughs> I sure hope he was really talking to somebody. <laughs> Time for more of your phone calls. Hey, The Edge. Hey, what's going on? How are you? Good. I, uh, I was wondering if I could get you guys unbiased opinion or something. Sure. Okay, so it's a bit of a story, but uh, I met this whore. We got married and had a kid. Hang on. You got... A whore? Well, I mean, no. she's not, not a whore by trade. That's just what I'm calling her. Ah. Uh. So anyway, we uh, we got married and had a kid. Uh, fast forward today, the kid is, is two. It's a girl. Uh, she's the mother. <laughs> uh, the mother, just a couple of months, cheated on me. And now <laughs> she's, uh, she's left me for the guy now. And uh, Which whatever. guy? The, the, the guy that you cheat on me with. Oh, so it's your kid though, right? Yeah, my yeah. kid. But, uh, Did you guys have a crappy it? relationship or is she just a whore? No, no, no. Well, she's just a whore. <laughs> so now it's all that well and good. I, I can make terms with that. I'm better off for it and all that. Anyways, yeah. but, uh, the problem is, is we we have joint custody now of our child and uh, we, we've tried to make an agreement on a number of, of just terms. So one of them was that uh, her boyfriend wouldn't spend the night while while the child was there. And sure enough, the first night that she had her, she broke her promise, and I found out the dude's been staying with her. <laughs> now, what I need to know is, is that, am I crazy? Am I just biased and thinking that I want to rip this guy's head off because yep. he's there? Or is that yeah. yeah. Yeah, dude, you're just pissed. Yeah. It, it, there's really no rule. I, I mean, you, you guys make, it, did you have it in paper? Did you have it written down? What timing? <laughs> uh, do you have this written down? You don't have anything written down? No. no oh, well, down? you know what? You're right. You don't have rights. They don't, they don't exist. Neither hey. does she. The, the rights that you have right now are your kid's rights. So uh, if, if, he's, if he's not beating the hell out of her or the kid and he's a decent individual, even though he shoplifted the poonanny, 
Um, yeah, you can only you hope got, he's you got going nothing. to be a good stepfather or yeah. caregiver to those children while he's in those situations. And you know what? You should you know actually what? take him a bunt cake or something like that because you got that trailer pig off your hands. You don't think it's psychologically damaging for the child to have another father figure around in her bed? Uh, is lot. she sleeping in the bed, the kid? Yeah, like they bring her to bed with her because she wakes up every night. Oh, they hold it, hold it. No, 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 no. That's wrong. That's what I write. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I physical arrangement yeah. of the child sleeping in bed with the mom's boyfriend. How old's yeah. the kid? Two. Uh, so yeah, that's a little strange. Yeah, but at some point, if there is a stepfather, I don't know yeah, how that cool. stuff works. Yeah, I don't no, know. you know what? It's 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 subjective, right? Like if you're pissed off that, and you have a right to be, if your daughter, it's a, is it a boy or girl? It's a girl. Okay, it doesn't matter if it's a young child, a two year old. A young child is sleeping in in, in a bed. Uh, with with someone who isn't a family member or rel, I don't even like doing yeah, that's that. That's weird. Yeah, that's mm. weird. But like, I'm I've always been a fan of. You go to your bed, I go to mine, and that's the end of that. And I got right. three kids, so you know. But but you know, having said that, I understanding what you're saying. Um, no, I I disagree, and I think what you should do if you if you can is go and talk to a lawyer about it, and and not like you're going to sue him, but just to get a separation agreement together to say, hey, you know what, uh, this is these are one of the rules that that guy can't be doing that. Hard to police though. Mm-hmm. The, the, what you'll get out of it is is good. What you'll get out of it is somebody that says, okay, uh, uh, maybe this is a red flag, so a flag will go up. So they could it, it just basically be being stuck. good parent, like like the no, mother dude, still being a good parent. No, no, no. It's not a good parent to bring your child into bed with your boyfriend of how long? Uh, two months. <laughs> well, that's yeah. from, you know, like, from what you know for two months. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's probably several, and I hope he didn't kiss her very much last month. <laughs> So I'm not just a biased father. I no. can't actually be pissed off about this. No, I get it. Yeah, that, I mean, yeah. if it's if he's not staying overnight and he's there visiting, well, that's one thing. But you right. don't know anything about this guy. No. He might be a good guy. You don't know. Well, she says he is, but, I mean, she's got a track record of lying, so I, I don't know what to think. Am I the only one laughing so at this? Now what? Now, now what do I do for revenge? That's what I got to do. No, there's no revenge. That makes you the bad parent. Handle dude. it. Handle you know, it like you know, a man. You, exactly. You know what you do? You take revenge. it in the teeth. She left for some other dude. Uh, and that's the end of that. And 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 you go on and you find it and you make your life what it is, dude. You it, go on it, and you. F- I, I, I would like to try to, but it's different when it involves my daughter and her well being. I understand that, dude. But, but there's no change. revenge for that. You can't. You you, you trying to get revenge is only going to get you in trouble. Okay, that's all it's going to do. Revenge, maybe just some kind of. I, she needs to know that what she's doing is wrong, and no no amount of reason. Well, then you go talk to a lawyer yeah. about it because he'll tell you the same thing I just did. Or, that it's not right. Or you go and sleep in uh, a bed with her parents. Yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> Thinking about his parents. That's what I. Yeah, go have sex with that guy's mom. Yeah, that one's pretty good. And bring it right to her mouth too. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. (laughs) I think that's what he was waiting for. Yeah, yeah. I'll be honest. Either you know what you do, dominate his mom's face. That's what you do. That seems all right. Yeah, yeah. But but do you hear what I'm saying, brother? Listen, you got the one life, right? This is it. And people say life's short, and people say life's long. I prefer to think of it as life is exactly what you make it today. And if you're not happy right now, and you're you're consumed by this stuff, go, go find a girl. Uh, go be happy. Find <clears throat> several girls. Take up skeet shooting. Do something fun. I just and, want my daughter's life to be right. Well, it then, will. Then you if are you're doing normal it right, and you don't, yeah. you don't do anything stupid, dude, she'll know that later in life. You know what I mean? It, it, I, I have several friends that have gone through this where, you know, they think the daughter or the son is going to be all effed up. And by a 10 or 11, they realize that uh, the sp- one of the spouses, maybe it's the mom or maybe it's the dad, has acted like a complete tool and therefore... Uh, you know, they've gone back to common sense. Your job is just to be a, as much of a rock to that kid as possible. That's it. That's it. You show up when you have to. You love her because you, you want to. And you make sure that she doesn't need anything else. Just be a rock to that kid, dude. That's it. Not revenge. Uh, go see a lawyer if you're bothered by the sleeping arrangement. I would if I were you. All right. Okay, man. And just keep your head on. Because you, you keep your eyes straight, your head on, and keep moving forward. And don't don't let her affect your life negatively. I've, I've said this before. Todd, you remember this? I do. There no is not woman a, is worth a man's insanity. Sanity. Sanity. <laughs> there isn't a woman out there I really worth, worth well. my sanity. Yeah, and, and, dude, there isn't a woman out there worth your sanity either. You're a good cat. Not worth it. And you can my, tell you're a good cat. Uh, my daughter's life is worth my sanity, but I appreciate the advice. Thanks, guys. You're welcome. I got a feeling he's not going to listen to I have a feeling we're going to have a newspaper article about a real hatchet job in Whitby. (laughs) (laughs) I think his mind's already made up. Well, his wife's already got the first axe wound. (laughs) (laughs) 
And I'd say as far as wounds go, that one's been pretty busy. <laughs> He's getting sloppy seconds from his own wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the shame of it all. Hi, The Edge. Yeah, uh, so... What? Out of the last three girlfriends I've had, mm -hmm. two of them to be lesbians. <laughs> and so, I was at a bar the other night, and then I walk in, and the two that are lesbians are hooking up. Where, who is this? What is your name? Is he trying to be funny? I think so. Hi, The Edge. Hey, how's it going? Good. What's up, brother? Uh, not much. I think I knew that guy who just called you guys. Yeah, don't say his name on the air. No, I won't say his name. He's my brother, actually. Is he really? Oh, yeah. Is he a good guy? Oh, he's an awesome guy, and that woman's such a whore. <laughs> <laughs> Derek! Yeah, yeah, she sounds like a big whore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You know what she sounds like, Dunkle Derek? Dark and smelly. Oh, dark, dark and smelly. smelly. Yeah, dark and smelly. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, yeah. Well, tell him to hang in there and not kill anybody. Hi, The Edge. Hey, Lou. Hello. What's up? Is it The Edge? Yeah. You called us, bro. Pardon? Well, you yeah, called you, us. You like, called, so you called us. Right? You know the, the this numbers is, you're calling. This is The Edge? Yeah. Okay, so when do I talk to them? Um, in just a second, what's your name? Alex. And what did you want to talk to the guys about? I just want to tell them that, tell them that I, uh, <coughs> pardon me, that they're fucking awesome because I've been, I've been in this country for over 13 years. I'm Cuban and I don't listen to any other radio. All right. So what do you, so you're here, you're on air now. Tell us. Yeah. How you doing? What's your name? Hey, I'm Alex. Hey. Uh, I'm Cuban and I've been here for a very long, long time. Yeah. And I... I, I just think you guys are the best. I don't oh, even... Thanks. That's so uh, nice of you, bro. You're the best, dude. How'd you get over here? Uh, I married a Canadian girl. Did you really? Yeah. yeah. Did you, did you like her? Did you like her or did you just want to get the hell out of Cuba? No. <laughs> no she's beautiful. She's a great, a great woman. She's the mother of my son. Oh, oh. She's a, you have a child with her? Yeah. So you, you're, you're, you really took the act the whole way. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you meet her? How did you meet her, bro? Oh, she went to Cuba. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought. Dude, can I ask you something? As a Cuban male, and you're a thirteen, you've been here thirteen years, so you're Canadian now, correct? Yeah. Okay. So, as a Cuban male, so you meet this girl. Did you meet her at a resort? Was she there at a resort? Actually, I was outside the resort. I was just walking by. Wow. And did you pick her up, or did she pick you up? Well, it was kind of like introduction uh, of someone else from her to me because I, I I speak English and and not really a lot of people speak English in Cuba. Yeah. Well, she wanted someone to talk to because she was for the first time in outside of the country, outside of Canada. What a great can, way can to I ask, can I ask you something? Chicks. Oh, big time. Just learn the language. When she said she wanted someone to talk to because no one was talking to her, did you go, what a loser? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm a gentleman. I'm a, guy, a nice guy. Uh, you, you you sound like a good guy, and and uh, so you didn't come over here like because I've seen some of the rafts you people make. <laughs> yeah, no, believe me, I came here and uh, and I got a uh, a lot of despise from people just because I'm Cuban. No way, really? Yeah, I dude. Can tell you stuff that you have no idea. I've been like basically basically like. Abuse, basically. I can understand that if this was the States, but not here. Oh, I thought Derek was just going to be like, oh, that's fine. You're, <laughs> you're totally allowed picking on understand. Cubans. I could understand that five, six years ago, <laughs> not today. Yeah, we've come a long way. What do you do now? I'm an electrician. Good for you. Oh, when I heard did you never to trust a Cuban electrician. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when did you uh, become Canadian? Uh, uh, like three years ago. Good for, dude, me too. I became a Canadian about five years ago, so we're in the same boat. <laughs> Made out of Javex boxes and an old Studebaker. <laughs> you, guys are, you guys are the best, man. Like, I don't even listen to Cuban music. My wife says I'm the whitest Cuban guy she ever met. <laughs> All right, dude. Well, listen, we appreciate your time. Thanks so much for coming. Thank you very much. Thanks, for bud. You. Okay, man. Take care. She say, totally bye. went to Cuba and got herself a Cuban cigar. Eh? Big time. Yeah. <laughs> you know what was interesting? Smoke that thing right back. <laughs> I knew it too. So she's, he's like, I'm Cuban. I married the Canadian girl. Like, I know what you did. You, 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 that's the fastest way to get out of that country.
And you know what? I'm yeah. tired of those Cuban guys taking our hot Canadian chicks. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm exhausted by it. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, joining us in the studio right yeah. now. Uh, l- let me let me get your names here. Uh, turn on your uh, mic. Turn on their microphones. Yeah. Sean. What's your name? Damon Conrad. Damon Conrad. Dave Pinota. And where are you guys from? Third Party Entertainment. And what are you here to talk about? Talking about the event we got coming up on Thursday after the Leaf Home opener. It's the fourth period NHL Magazine season opener launch, as well as a Wade Belak fundraiser. Oh, cool. Okay, great. And uh, so, so that's on Thursday. Now, where can people get information for that if they'd like to come? And what's going to be happening? It's basically going to be a huge launch with celebrities, NHL players, fourthperiod.com, thirdpartyentertainment.ca, mm-hmm. all over Facebook. Anybody can find out. It's going to be at Morrow. Okay. At Morrow? Where's Morrow? Morrow's a good spot. King West a little bit. Yep. Yeah, Liberty yeah, Village. Should, yeah. should be good. 135 Liberty Village. It's going to be a great night. A bunch of the Leafs are coming out after the game. Great. Some alumni and stuff. It's going to be a great night for a great cause. Is it, is it fourth period, the number four TH, or is it fourth spelt, spelt out? Fourth I never know how to do out. that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fourthperiod.com. I thought yeah, was, you guys could have yeah. been more specific. Yeah, really. <laughs> <That'd> <laughs> we, we want to make guys think it a little bit. Okay, good. <laughs> it's so, hockey, right? Uh, fourthperiod.com, if you want information, it's uh, the Wade Belak fundraiser, and uh, proceeds go to the Andy and Alex uh, Christian Children's Scholarship Fund, right? his, his two little boys. Little girls? Little maybe? girls. Little yeah. girls, yeah. Um, so, and that's uh, Thursday. What time does it all get started after the Leaf game? Like 9, 10? That's right. Doors open at 10. People are going to be lining up, so you want to get there early. Okay, perfect. Guys, thank you so much for dropping by. I appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Okay, so uh, fourthperiod.com, and I'll put it on my blog later on today if you need information. Enough. That's it. The Dean Blundell Show podcast is done. On 102.1 The Edge.